I think it's important that we question uh, Special Counsel Durham to find out more information and share it with the American public. Special Counsel John Durham is set to testify before two committees in the House of Representatives, more than a month after releasing the findings of his inquiry into the FBI's crossfire hurricane investigation. The American public largely does not know what's in there. They know what's out there. The Durham report alleged the FBI and Department of Justice had no proper basis to launch their investigation into alleged ties between Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and Russia. The House Intelligence Committee is scheduled to hold a hearing with Durham, in which lawmakers are expected to probe Durham's findings. It's important for us to lay the groundwork for reform with the FBI. I mean, think about it. The FISA process, the foreign intelligence surveillance process, was abused by the FBI. We need to decide, are we going to continue to allow them to have the FISA process as it's currently written? Is it reformable at this point? And those are some of the questions that I'm hoping that we ask and hopefully get answers for the American public because the FBI has clearly been turned against the... Uh, it's been been turned against the American people. Durham will also testify before the House Judiciary Committee, and the hearing will focus on special counsel's report. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan has called for Congress to leverage the power of the purse to keep the FBI in check in the wake of the Durham report. In the end, money always gets people's attention. And so what we're going to have to do is say, hey, FBI, you can't use federal tax dollars. You can't use the American tax dollars for this kind of activity. We've got to limit how they spend the money, maybe even limit the money. Here's a great example. They want millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars in their construction budget for a new facility. No way. No way should we approve that. That's the power that the founders wanted the legislative branch, and in particular the House. Jordan said immediately after the report was released, he had reached out to Durham to testify before his committee. The Durham report took multiple years of investigation by a former U.S. attorney for the District of Connecticut under then-President Donald Trump.